Right, but when we say energy is made or used, we don't mean that it is made up of nothing or used up. It just changes from one kind of energy to another, right? Exactly. Types of energy are always created by other types of energy, like when you turn on the TV. Electrical energy flows into the TV set and turns into light, heat, and sound energy. Here, let me show you something. Let's see. Ah! Take these two sticks. When I rub them together quickly, they feel warm. This is another example of changing of energy. The mechanical energy that your body has is changing into heat energy. Wow, I can feel the heat energy. The changing of energy happens all around us. When you use a solar calculator, the light from the sun is changed into electrical energy, which makes the calculator operate. During photosynthesis in plants, the plants change light energy from the sun into chemical energy, which helps them grow. Or when you turn on a light in the house, you're changing electrical energy into light energy. It seems like it takes a lot to transfer one kind of energy to another. Does any energy get lost during the transfer? No. When energy is transferred, no energy gets lost. It just changes form. Kids, it's going to take me a while to cook dinner. Why don't you go check out that trail over there? Okay, Dad. Hey, Eric, would you like to come on the walk with us? Sure. Let's go. energy from my body to these rocks, just like we talked about around the campfire. You got it. You're transferring your kinetic energy into the rock's potential energy. Kinetic potential? I thought we talked about all the different kinds of energy. You never said anything about kinetic and potential energy. Well, kinetic and potential energy are a bit different than the other energies we've talked about. Kinetic and potential energy are the two main kinds of energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. This basically means that any object that's moving has kinetic energy. Do some moving objects have more kinetic energy than others? Yeah, it's like the faster an object moves, the more kinetic energy it has. What about potential energy? What kind of energy is that? The word potential means possible or something that can happen. So it makes sense that potential energy is stored energy or possible energy. Now there's energy stored up in all of these things. And as soon as they let go, the energy is released. It becomes kinetic energy. A great example of something that has both kinetic and potential energy is a swing. That's right. Now, when you pull a swing back, the swing has kinetic energy. That's because it's moving. But when the swing reaches the top and stops, there's no movement. Now the swing has potential energy. Its energy is stored. Now, when you let go, the potential energy gets released. It turns into kinetic energy. So the swing has potential energy when it reaches the top, and the stored energy that it has can be changed into kinetic energy. What other things can you think of with potential and kinetic energy? Think of a wind-up car. It has potential energy too. You wind it up, and there is a coil inside that stores the energy. And the moment you let go, the potential energy is released, and it now has kinetic energy. Now, when you pull back on a rubber band, you're using force to stretch it. That means you're doing the work to stretch the rubber band. This is an example of kinetic energy because you're transferring your energy into the rubber band where it's stored as potential energy. Now, when you let go of the rubber band, you're releasing its kinetic energy again as soon as the rubber band springs back into its original shape. 